we can see a list of all the books and the data is coming from the api here it is now we have to make some changes in the add book form so that we can add the book properly from this particular application so if i click on this add new book using the active form over here you will see we are having this form it is looking good to us let's make some changes in this form and let's remove whatever extra we have over here so let's go to the corresponding component here is the books module this is the component here we are using this reactive form this is for the template one and there is no change in the concept of std communication if you are working with the template driven approach or the reactive driven approach so both of them are completely same whatever way we will use to interact with the api over here in the reactive that same thing is applicable in the template driven approach also so here on this reactive html page we are having a couple of things so first is this update value because we were learning a concept and at that time we wrote this code so this is the update form values let's remove it go back to this html page and let's remove this button also it is not required now at the bottom side you will see we are displaying the form values let's remove this one also because now anyway we will see it in the database cool now what else do we have over here let's remove this console hmm. and so far everything is looking good let's make some changes in the authors property so if you will run this application and over here you will see that in the author section we are having only one property and that is authors full name but here in our api we are having two properties first is the full name and second is the address so let's make the changes over here and if you remember that we have created one form group with name authors this one so this is the full name for the authors let's add one more property over here and it is address and let's make one input field in the form so here we are and where is that author so it is available at this place we are having this field and it is for the full name let's just copy it and just paste it again okay and this time we will use the address over here you can update this icon by searching an appropriate one from the fonts.google.com api so here you will see that we are having two input box let's update this title so this one is address cool here we are okay so here we are this is the author full name and this is the address let's right click on this one and use this inspect go to the network tab so everything is set at this place now let's make some changes in the service so here is the service this one and the book service now we have to make some changes in this add book cool so let's copy this entire code paste it over here and this time we have to use the post method this is the post method and here we have to call the url for the post so what is the url for the post method here again you will see that there is no difference in the url in the get and the post the only difference is in the method so this is the method cool now here let's see what we have in this post method in the post method you will see there are two things first is the url and second is the body so we have to pass both of them so we have just passed the url and it is time to pass the body of this call and the data we will get in this book model let's just paste it at this place and what is the return type of this particular api let's see that also it is again available at this place so here is the response for this api and here it is going to return the object of a book so let's update this one like this and here because we are using the void we are getting error let's use observable and in the observable because we will get only one book so let's use this book model we are done with the changes at this place and if you have noticed that there is something that we can improve over here we are having this common code and we are writing it couple of times let's say we are having two three more apis at this place and mentioning everything over here is not a good practice so it is better you can create one base property over here or you can read it from the environment file based on your development type if you are working in the development environment then you can get it from the development file if you are working in the production environment then you can get it from the production file so always keep this base url in the environment file and read it from there and over here you can just append it in this api part now let's work on this add book so here is this add book reactive and at the bottom side let's just try to call this api 
so where is our save method this is the save method so we are using this book service and we are calling this add book now this will not work until we will subscribe it let's just subscribe what do we have this time so let's just use the console dot log and just to verify the changes let's put the x over here we are not making any further change we will see if we get any error let's go to the browser and if you remember that we have not created any kind of property for these three things so let's just ignore them and it is just an assignment for you that you have to update your databases the api the models and you have to include these three properties over there so i will start from this title this is the title this is the author one and here i'm writing author one address this is the author 2 oath to address let's add one more author over here so here i'm writing author 3 author 3 address cool number of pages or let's say it is 1000 what is the currency type it is us dollar the price is let's say it is 200 choose a date let's say it is 28 published yes so i'm just going to clear everything and just hit this save button and here you will see that we are getting some error it is saying course error click on this one do we have any response in the preview no there is no response and we have to fix it from the api let's fix that first but before fixing the problem you can have a look on the payload that we are sending from this api so in this payload you will see we are sending a list of all the authors which is good so it is having full name address so this is the doc format format type we are not using these two properties this is is, pub is published we are not using this pdf format also this is the price published on title and the total pages everything is good we just need to take care of this course method and everything will work properly let's fix the course problem in the next video